Hello everyone, we will start with ABAP programming and in ABAP programming, we will start with firstly ABAP editor. Now, ABAP is a programming language for SAP. We all know ABAP is a programming language. Now the next question comes, if it is a programming language, where you will write the ABAP code? Answer is ABAP editor. So in the ABAP editor, we will write the ABAP code. So ABAP editor is a tool for ABAP coding. In every programming language, we have a editor where you are writing the code. So in case of ABAP, where you will write the ABAP code? In the ABAP editor. Now, ABAP editor is one of the most important tool of ABAP workbench. We all know ABAP workbench is a collection of ABAP tools. We already covered what is ABAP workbench. It is a collection of ABAP tools. Suppose SC11 is a tool for ABAP dictionary, which we already covered. SC38 is a tool for ABAP editor. Whenever we are combining all these tools, the one term is called as ABAP workbench. So ABAP editor is also, also one of the most important part of ABAP workbench. And what is the transaction code for ABAP editor? SC38 is the transaction code for a BAP editor or SC38 is a tool for a BAP editor. Now, what we will do, we will go to SC38 and we will start with our next process. So I will go to transaction code SC38. Now, SC38 is a tool for a BAP editor or it is a transaction code for a BAP editor. And we will start with our first basic program. So what will be our first basic program? We will make some of two numbers. This is our first, first basic program. Now we all know whenever we want to create any program or whenever we want to create any object, any customized object, whenever we want to create the first name, always start with Z or Phi. So it means the first pro the program name will also start with Z or Phi. So I will give the program name. Suppose I am saying Z P R G. sum of two numbers. I'm giving some name to the program starting with Z or Y you can go. I will click on to create button. Now, whenever you are creating any program, always you have to give a title. Please, please provide a meaningful title. Suppose I'm writing to make some of two numbers. Now we'll come on to next thing. Now at this point of time, we will create a executable program. What do you mean by executable program? Whenever you want to execute a program, whenever you want to run a program, always, always you have to take a executable program. In the future, we'll go for all these types of programs. So in this scenario, what is our requirement? We will make some of two numbers. It means we will run the program. So we will take the type as executable program because we will execute the program. We will check the result. We will run the program. We will check the result. So we will take the type as executable program. I will save this program. I will save this as a local object suppose. 
now this is your a bar editor where you will write the code in this a bar editor we will write the code now the first will start with few important points now see we created a executable program and if you see whenever you are creating a executable program the first word or first word in the program is report so whenever you will see a report word in the program always understand that it is a executable program in the future whenever we will create other type of programs yes this particular word will change this particular keyword will change now in this abap editor in this abap editor you are able to see this in blue color and this is in black color this is the name of your program you gave this name and this is appearing in blue color just remember whenever you will see anything in blue color in the sap in the abap editor that is a sap reserve keyword so whenever something is in blue color it is always always a keyword so this program we gave this program name so it is not in blue color so it is in blue color it means it is a sap reserve keyword it is not in our control this name is in our control so whenever the whenever the whenever we will able to see in blue color those are sap reserve keywords now what is a statement this is the first statement in a program in this particular program this is the first statement so what is a statement a statement is a sequence of word this is one word this is one word so statement is a sequence of words and have you seen there is a dot at the end so how you will end a statement in case of sap or in case of a bab so every statement ends with a dot it is also called as period so what is statement a statement is a sequence of words which always always ends with a dot if someone ask you how you will end a particular statement in sap the answer is dot or period so a statement is a sequence of words that ends with a period now we will discuss few more functionalities in this abap editor now we all know whenever you are creating any object you need to save you need to check the syntax you need to activate if you want to save you can see we have a save button and control plus s is the shortcut so we can go for save it is saved now after that you need to check the syntax to check the syntax this is the syntax check button or you can go for control plus f2 is the shortcut suppose if i will go for control plus f2 it is syntactically correct now lastly you need to activate and what is the shortcut for the activate control plus f3 same thing we did in abap dictionary also we need to save we need to check the syntax and we need to activate now after creating a program this is our executable program it means we need to run the program we need to execute the program if you want to run the program or if you want to execute the program this is the button this is the execute button and the shortcut is f8 so you can check the output of the program through f8 key you can execute the program through f8 now we will discuss this particular button this button is display or change button or the shortcut is control plus f1 suppose as of now i can write the code i can write the code so it is in change mode so if i will go i want to go to display mode i can click on to this button 
Now you can see that this program is in display mode. I cannot do anything. If I want to write my code, I need to click on to this button. So with the help of this button, you can go to change mode or display mode. Now we will discuss one more important functionality. There is a button here, display object list. And in the future, you will widely, widely use this particular thing. Suppose I'm clicking on to this button, display object list. The shortcut is control plus shift plus F5. Suppose I'm clicking on to this button. If you see when I click on to this button, this is your which transaction code? This is your SC80 transaction code, which is for object navigator. So from SC38 also, you can navigate to SC80 by clicking on to the button display object list. So what is the summary of the topic? What we learned in this or what we studied in this particular video. So where you will write the ABAP code, you will always write the code in the ABAP editor. SC38 is the transaction code for ABAP editor and it is one of the most important tool. Now, whenever you will create any program, we all know we have to give the name starting with Z or Y. We created a executable program. Whenever you are creating an executable program, the first word in that program is report. So what is a statement? A statement is a sequence of words which ends with a dot. So how you will end a particular statement with the help of dot. In the ABAP editor, whenever something is appearing in blue color, it means it is a SAP reserve keyword. Now, after that, we discussed few important functionalities in the ABAP editor. If you want to save, you can go for control plus S. If you want to go for syntax check, you can go for control plus F2. If you want to activate, you can go for control plus F3. Whenever you want to execute or run the program, you can go for F8. How you can go for display or change mode through control plus F1. The shortcut is control plus F1. And how you will open the object list or how you can go to SC80. We have an option or we have a button display object list and the shortcut is control plus shift plus F5. Now in the next video, we will discuss few more important functionalities of a BAP editor and then we will start writing the code after that. So that's it in this video. Thank you.